So the next part of the sewing machine that I want to talk to you about is the needle plate. And this here, this metal piece, is the needle plate. And on every uh, brand and type of sewing machine there is, um, there are different plates. And you see here, this is what they call a top-loading sewing machine, where the bobbin drops down into the top. If it was a front-loading sewing machine, the storage case that's in front of the needle plate here, um, that would be removed. And down in that front where I showed you where the feed dogs were, uh, the feed dogs, the switch for the feed dogs, uh, there would be um, a place there that you would put your, your bobbin in, and that would be a front-loading sewing machine. So you see here on this metal plate, you have uh, where the bobbin goes. This is the little lever that pops the case off for the bobbin, and then this here is where you would feed the um, the tail of the bobbin thread and it would cut off right here. So this is how it loads in for this sewing machine. Every sewing machine is different. Then you have these holes. you got little holes and you've got this little slider thing and you've got a hole back here. And then there's little holes here and stuff. All of these have a purpose for um, different attachments that attach to your plate uh, that do different things like you ha how you uh, put on a different presser foot. Um, these attach um, and pop into these different holes here. And then these marks here um, I show the different uh, the width uh, the seam allowance. Okay, and um, if you are just starting out and you um, want to know how wide a quarter inch of a seam or a half inch or a five eighths, like if, you're, if your instructions tell you to uh, sew with a quarter of an inch, I'm going to pop my presser foot off here so you can see. Um, where your needle comes down, I would take either a little ruler or a, um, a measuring tape and I would start from where that needle is and measure over and it would tell you where that quarter of an inch or the five eighths or half an inch or whatever. And so if you need to, you can mark your plate. You could put a little sticky note on there and uh, or a little, you know, piece of paper and tape it on there and mark your markings so that until you understand what each of those lines measure. But there's reasons for all this and not all the plates have these kind of markings. They may just have lines that go through here and stuff. So like I said, every plate is different. So I know we already mentioned the bobbin case and told you about the top loading and the front loading sewing machines. Um, we do have videos on our YouTube channel that explains how to load a top loading and how to load a front loading uh, sewing machine. So it tells you how, it shows you how to um, lo uh, load the thread onto your bobbin and how to put it into the sewing machine. So you may want to watch those videos if you need assistance. So there's another thing and it's called threading guides and it's when you take your thread and it guides you through to uh, thread your sewing machine. These here are thread guides. Now you see a dotted line and you see a straight line. The dotted line is showing you how to thread to load your bobbin and the solid line is showing you how to thread your uh, our threading guides to show you how to thread your sewing machine. So it shows you how to bring your thread back here on down. It brings it down here and around and then in going back up. Now every sewing machine is different. Okay, it's telling you to hook around this little arm here that's in this little hole and then it goes down and then you thread your sewing, your needle. We do have a video on how to thread your sewing machine if you want to watch that and it will better explain it. Every sewing machine is different. 
so you will need to uh, read your owner's manual and get instruction from that on how to load uh, how to thread your sewing machine now if you're just starting out on uh, learning about your sewing machine it's very important for you to know how to thread your particular sewing machine and so it would be a good idea for you to practice and run through that several times and so you can do it. I've done this so many times I can just whip it through there and do it without thinking but it is important for you to practice so try doing that um, half a dozen times and just you know get the practice until you know for sure how to thread your machine. I want to show you a couple of more things uh, before we finish here. Uh, on this sewing machine, we have a threader. So you, some sewing machines don't have that, and you will have to thread this manually. But this one has a threader, and you can read your owner's manual on how to do that. But it's pretty simple, and it helps you to get your needle, your machine needle, uh, threaded much easier than trying to squint and push that thread through that small. I. <laughs> this here, this little blue contraption, awkward looking thing, is um, a part of the attachment that's for the buttonholes. So you won't be using that that often, but um, that it, that's what that there is. Now on this sewing machine, and it's going to be common for a lot of the sewing machines to have this, this is a little thread cutter. And what it does is when you're done sewing, um, you can take the thread up and cut it that way. This sewing machine has a thread cutter on it. Let me move this around and I'll show you the buttons here. So on this particular sewing machine, we have where you it, it cuts the thread this lowers and raises the needle and this is the back button you push it to lock your thread at the beginning or ending so this thing here is a button that you can start and stop your sewing machine instead of using your pedal foot uh, to push the sewing machine along you can use this here and then it's foot free Okay, so this little knob here is uh, an adjuster. It adjusts the tension on your thread. Now, on this sewing machine, I have different stitches I can choose from, and I have some I can program. Um, so, different things here. This is a straight stitch that's to the side. This is a straight stitch that's your normal straight stitch, so I usually push that one. This is zigzag, and these are all your different little stitches. Very common to use. Now with this sewing machine, when it's turned on, I have a little LCD screen here, and it talks to me. It tells me what stitch I have chosen from over here, and if I'm, having a, if I'm using a, a zigzag stitch, I do how wide I want it to be, and then this is the straight stitch. This is how uh, wide I want it to be. If I want a larger stitch or a smaller stitch. Brightness for the LCD. This knob is part of the attach. What's up here? What shows up here? What I'm wanting. Uh, it does letters and special little stitches like that, so I can choose from there. This here is the speed of my sewing machine. And uh, I don't want it to go too fast because it can get tangled up and cause a little bird's nest and stuff. But, but then I don't want it to go too slow. So I usually try in the middle there somewhere. Not all sewing machines have this, but this one does. Over here is your manual knob. And you can turn the knob if you need to do anything. And that comes in handy like if you're... Uh, your needle, your sewing is tangled or jammed, your needle is jammed, then sometimes you need to turn this back and forth a little to loosen up the threads. And so over here 
I don't have it plugged in because I don't have the machine on, but this is where you plug in the power cord. This is where you plug in the foot pedal. And then this turns on the machine and that turns the light on. So I hope that helped you to better understand the different features of your sewing machine. And now you'll be able to read your owner's manual and get a better idea on where those features are on your machine. So thank you very much everyone for watching. You all have a wonderful day and subscribe to our YouTube channel so you can keep getting updates on our latest videos. Thank you very much everyone. Bye for now.